You're watching the Seafood News Weekly video brought to you by Erneberry Consulting. Erneberry Consulting provides tailored solutions to identify growth opportunities within the fast-paced protein commodity sectors. Combining the expertise of our analytical team, our warehouse of proprietary and trusted data, and our unparalleled insight into market forecasting, Erneberry Consulting will not only pinpoint developing global trends, but assist you in knowing exactly when and how to adopt them to maximize your return. Call 732-240-5330 for more information. I'm Erneberry Berry Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. And I'm Erneberry Staff Writer Ryan Doyle. In our top story, Red Lobster has found their next CEO. Just a few days after Red Lobster's current CEO, Kim Loptrip, announced that he'd be retiring after 14 years, the popular seafood chain announced that they named Kelly Valade as their next CEO. Valade has a lot of experience working with popular restaurant change, having spent over 22 years at Brinker International, the hospitality industry company that owns Chili's restaurants. Most recently, Valade served as the president and CEO of Black Box Intelligence, a leading data and insights provider of workforce, guests, consumer, financial performance benchmarks for the hospitality industry. In other news, Subway's menu is set to look very different in the coming days, but nothing about the brand's tuna will change. Subway has been battling claims over the sustainability of the brand's tuna alongside a recent New York Times report, which DNA tested the chain's tuna. Amid the controversy, Subway has pressed on and will continue to feature its tuna in the largest menu update in the company's history, saying it has no need to upgrade its 100% wild-caught fish. Meanwhile, Norwegian seafood export value has never been higher for the first half of the year than in 2021, according to the Norwegian Seafood Council. Norway exported seafood worth 6.2 billion US dollars in the first six months of 2021, a slight uptick from last year's six month total. Through the first six months, shellfish saw the biggest boost in export value, while Norwegian salmon also witnessed growth in both export volume and export value in the first half of the year. And finally, in another turn of events originating from the complications set in place into the market by COVID-19, Pangasius imports are currently outpacing that of tilapia. Historically, tilapia frozen filet volume exceeds that of Pangasius by just under 100 million pounds on a yearly basis. However, in looking at how volumes are tracking thus far on a year-to-date basis for 2021, Pangasius frozen filets are outpacing tilapia by over 20 million pounds from January through May. With reports of emerging COVID-19 cases on the rise in Vietnam, in China, slowing production and creating even more port problems, it is not yet certain if this inversion will continue through to the end of the year. And that's the guacamole. Subscribe to our channel below and be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes every week. Thanks for watching.